and getting to his house, and he just had an outdoor, like a screened-in porch in his backyard, and there was just floor-to-ceiling, white five-gallon pails, and I was like, is this everyone in the area that does it? He's like, yeah, this is. they all come here to pick it up. So I took my three, went home. I ended up fermenting them. I think I've told you the story in garbage cans in my father's basement. And that was pretty cool. Like, that was... There is not much difference between doing that and making wine in a proper wine facility. Right, so... Because <clears throat> there, there are not a million ways to skin a cat when it comes to fermenting grapes. Right, so that was the whole thing. I mean, that, that's that's was the thing in Bordeaux or France, garages, like... But the reality is fermentation happens. Happens, yeah. Right? Yeah. We wouldn't have been doing this for 8,000 years if it was difficult. Yeah, and th- th- we know that's right. <laughs> <laughs> and it was, and, it, and I'm sure it was an accident. Someone's like, "Oh, what's this?" <laughs> Those berries taste good. I was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> I've heard the stories about the blackberries and the Kodiak bears eating them, like after they fermented and just just drunk fucking bears. Just having a <laughs> just, just having a good just old can't time. stop eating them, right? It's like 